Hi guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books, and I am here today to bring you a new series of videos that I'm going to be calling my chit chat videos. It's exactly what it sounds like. I am going to be just chatting with you about all the things that I don't want to include in regular bookish videos because they're already so long, I don't want to make them any longer. So in this series of videos, I'm gonna just be chatting to you about my life, maybe about what TV shows or movies I've been watching or whatever channel updates I might have. It's just gonna kind of be a catch-all for those sorts of things. So I've made myself a cup of tea in my favorite mug of all time, my Tinkerbell mug. I'm sure you guys have seen this before because I use it literally every day. I have plenty of other mugs, but for some reason this one just always gets picked out of them, probably because it feels like the perfect weight. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light either. I just love it. And inside this mug, I have made cinnamon cardamom tea, which I have never tried before. I just saw it at the grocery store and figured I'd give it a try. It smells amazing, but let's see how it tastes because I haven't tasted it. I don't know. It like has a very faint taste. Like it does it's not strong enough. The flavor of it isn't strong enough in my opinion. It smells better than I feel like it tastes. It's not bad. It's just not good either. I don't know. It's kind of like drinking like like flavored water almost like like a watered down juice kind of, that's kind of what it tastes like. It doesn't taste like a full bodied tea, if you get what I'm saying. I don't know. I might not be drinking the rest of the box, but I thought I'd try. I'm really a chamomile tea drinker. That is just like my favorite tea of all time. Uh, I do like other herbal teas. I'm not really a caffeinated um, person. I don't like caffeinated beverages at all. I have anxiety, so when I drink caffeine, it kind of starts getting my heart racing, which kind of mimics a panic attack for me and it kind of just sets me off so I do not drink caffeinated beverages at all um but for this tea it's just kind of eh it's all right anyway where have I been what have I been up to since I last filmed I believe we have gone back to school I don't think I had started work before that so the kids have gone back to school I'm a school bus driver I work for the same school that they go to so I've gone back to work as well and Work has been a lot of fun recently. I feel more at ease this year. I feel more ready to take on new things maybe. Um, I also love seeing the kids on my bus for a second, the second year in a row, just to see them kind of grow and to see them go into new grades. That's a lot of fun. Plus a lot of them have younger siblings that have now joined them on the bus. So that's really fun just to see how much it's changing and growing. I really love that part of it. Um, the worst part about my job, I will have to say, is waking up to go to work. All summer long, I've been waking up, you know, somewhere between six or seven. That's like my regular body schedule. Like, I have no problem going to bed between 10 and 11 and waking up between six and seven. But now I have to wake up at 4.30, which means I'm more likely to be asleep between eight and nine, somewhere in there which I just feel like is so early and it kind of feels like rough because I like lay down and I want to read and I feel like I can't read because I just fall asleep. And then 4.30 rolls around and it's just hard. Like Monday's not too bad because you know I'm kind of rested from the weekend but by the time I get to Friday like I want to smash my alarm clock to pieces and my alarm clock is actually my phone so I don't really want to smash my phone because phones are expensive but I just can't stand to hear the alarm by Friday morning. I'm just like beyond it. But that's really the worst part of it. I just, it's such a hard time waking up at that time. On the weekend, I planned to sleep in a little bit, but my pets had other ideas this morning. They said, well, you've been getting up every day at 4.30. You've been feeding us by five o'clock in the morning. So now we expect to be fed at five. So they promptly woke me up at 5.20 this morning. My dog was kind of whining and little barking and my cat my black cat was meowing very loudly next to my bed. So I unfortunately did not get to sleep in this morning, but whatever, I at least got to get up and I fed them and took the dog out and did all that and got to relax and read this morning, which was a nice, a nice change to my regular breakneck pace in the morning. Um, 
but yeah, that's what I've been doing. The kids have gone back to school. They all seem to be enjoying their classes. My youngest was kind of apprehensive about going back to school. She just didn't want to get back into the routine of things. But she came home that first day and said, Mom, I love third grade, which is really nice to hear. She has a great teacher this year. We've kind of been looking forward to having her teacher. We've heard through the grapevine what a great teacher um, he is. So now that she has him, she's like, Mom, he's like amazing. So I'm so excited about that. My oldest started high school this year, which is crazy to me because I feel like I just finished high school. I had her when I was very young, so it hasn't been, I mean, not a supremely long time since I've been in high school, but long enough where I feel like, oh my gosh, I should not have someone in ninth grade right now. And my son started eighth grade, which it's his last year of middle school, and then he'll be in high school. Oh my gosh, just made me feel really old. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what we've been doing. My husband's been working, 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 working. He's just, with his job, sometimes there's a lot of overtime, and other times there's just little days here or there, and he really doesn't get a lot. Right now, it's one of those times where there is a lot of overtime, so he is just working as much as he can because he knows when it's there, it's there, and when it's not, it's not. So he's been doing a lot of that, but... He is off this weekend. Actually, I'll let you in on a secret. He is out right now with all of the kids. He took them to a baseball game. So mom is home alone in the house on a Saturday night. <laughs> and I just am like amazed. It's quiet in my house. I'm able to film a couple of videos. It's fantastic. So I don't know what else I'll be doing with the rest of my evening. Hopefully finishing my current read and then maybe watching some, some TV. I don't know. I'm kind of in between shows right now. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below because I would love to start something kind of new. I think recently, what have I watched in the last little while? I'll catch you guys up on that. I've watched, I caught myself up on season, the current seasons of um, The Flash and Arrow. I love those shows. They're somewhat predictable, but I still love them. I just love the characters. I love the actors. Um, so I watch those a lot. I want to catch up on the other ones in that same universe, which would be like Supergirl and the Legends of Tomorrow. But I'm just kind of not in the mood. I kind of wore myself out catching up on those ones. So not, I'm going to catch up on them. I'm just kind of putting it on hold for right now. Then I also watched, let me see. I started 13 Reasons Why. And I watched three episodes of it and I just decided not to finish it. I read the book and really enjoyed the book. Um, and I feel like my picture of what the book was like really isn't what the show is so much like to me. Um, even the actors and actresses weren't really what I was picturing. So I don't think I'm going to finish it. Unless you guys feel like I really should. Um, if you have really strong opinions and want to voice those down below, let me know what you think. I'm probably not going to finish it, but if there's something that one of you says that convinces me, maybe I will. What else did I watch? Hmm. I watched a movie last weekend. I watched This Is Where I Leave You, which is based on the same the book of the same title by Jonathan Troper, which is one of my favorite books. I absolutely love it. And I thought the movie was done fairly well. It, I felt like the tone of it could have just been a little bit more um, sarcastic. I know there was a lot of sarcasm in it, but I feel like the book just did it a little better. Um, but I still really enjoyed the movie and the cast of characters were great. It had like Jason Bateman and um, Tina Fey. It had, who else did it have? Um, Jane Fonda <laughs> was the mom. It was just a really good cast of characters. So if you're looking for a fun way to spend a night, I would check out that movie, especially if you love like family drama type things. I also, what else did I watch? I don't know. Oh, I watched Leah Remini's um, show about Scientology. I watched a couple of episodes. I just watched what was available on demand. And I found it kind of fascinating because many of you may not know, but I kind of grew up in a cult as well. My mother was a Jehovah's Witness and um, I was forced to kind of live that lifestyle until I was 16 years of age. And so I found some parallels in listening to what they were saying. With that religion, um, Jehovah's Witnesses were nowhere near on the same level as Scientologists, but I still feel like it is definitely sort of cultish in a way. Um, but that's my own opinion. Obviously, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but I'm just saying from my own experience, I feel like there were some similarities and I kind of got a lot out of watching her show about Scientology. It just kind of sparked my interest to kind of 
do more research and read more books on my own about cults and religions and things like that. What else did I watch? I think that was about it. I think that's really all I really have watched in the last month or so. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to starting something new. I don't know what that's going to be though. I will sit down later and kind of look and make a decision. But like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. And I think that kind of wraps up this video for now. So cheers to my first chit chat video. Yeah, the longer it sits, the worse it tastes. I don't know. Maybe not the best tea. <laughs> don't recommend it. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. And I can't wait to chat with you again in the future. Bye.